Hey everybody, it's Rachel Farrell with the J Harmon Home Team. I'm standing here with my friend Brian Nail, and today we are going to talk about all of the factors that create an affordable home for you. So uh, a purchase price is definitely something that's important for you to look at, but there are several other factors that we need to look at too. Whenever you have a mortgage, you're, you're paying on several different things, and Brian's going to help us explain that. So Brian, besides purchase price, when you are paying your monthly mortgage payment, what are you paying for? Great question. I'm glad that you asked that. I've got a couple of ideas of some things here that are going to be a, a pretty significant part of your mortgage payment. And I get this a lot of times. Quite people will say that they want their mortgage payment to be $1,100 or $1,200. And they're kind of comparing their payment to their rent and they want it to keep it about the same. But what you're not considering is that as a homeowner, you also have to pay property taxes, you pay homeowner's insurance. Um, and depending on your down payment, you might have to, and loan type, you might have to pay something in the form of mortgage insurance premium, PMI, uh, MIP, uh, sometimes we just call it MI. Um, and those are three big factors of your mortgage payment as well. Another one to consider is your HOA fees. Mm -hmm. It's not actually gonna be part of your mortgage payment, but it is gonna be part of your affordability because if you're buying in a townhome, you might find yourself in a spot where you have a $150 HOA fee each month, but your, your homeowner's insurance is gonna be lower because a big portion of that HOA fee is gonna be what's, what's called a blanket insurance policy to make sure that if anything happens to the outside of your house, mm -hmm. the, that blanket policy covers it and your homeowner's insurance just needs to cover the walls in. Gotcha. Another big thing would be uh, PMI. And you know that's a that's a, a a word that a lot of people want to try to avoid and stay away from. But there's a lot of different ways that you can structure that. If you don't have a 20% down payment, you can do an FHA loan with three and a half percent down. And FHA is great because if your credit score qualifies, your mortgage insurance is going to cost the same. Okay. It's not going to be dependent on your credit score. Now with a conventional loan, you can do three percent down if you're a first-time home buyer, or you could do five percent down if it's you're not your first time. By home. A lot of people think with conventional, you have to put down 20%, but that's not the case. Gotcha. So with conventional loans, you have more options on your, on your mortgage insurance. You can either do a lender paid mortgage insurance in exchange for a little bit of a higher interest rate, or you can do a single premium mortgage insurance policy, where if you feel like you're gonna be at home for a long time, and you're really worried about your monthly payment, you can, but you've got some cash, you've got some, some money available to you. You can pay a lump sum up front and cover your mortgage insurance so it's not wow. part of your monthly payment. Okay, very interesting. So the things that you have to consider whenever you're purchasing a home is obviously purchase price, your interest rate, the um, taxes that are in the local area that you're looking. So if you're in Rutherford County, you know, Murfreesboro in the city might be different from Rutherford County, Murfreesboro in the county. Um, and then you're also looking at your insurance and possibly PMI. So that's right. five, possibly five different factors whenever you're uh, looking at what your monthly payment is made up of. So um, thank you so much for sharing that with us. If you have any questions about what a monthly payment looks like for you or how to get into a home, let us know.